Namaste, friend. Don't worry. I know who you are. I had a rabbit come in my office for a checkup last week. He told me all about it. I figured I'd run into you eventually. My name's William, but you can call me Will. Come on, I'll buy you a smoothie and you can explain how all this works. You caused this? Well, frankly, I'm a man of science, and I'm still getting over the whole existence of magic thing. So, you get a pass. I woke from sleepwalking last night. I had climbed a mountain. I'm a little worried that I'll sheepwalk my way into Area 51 or something next. So, I'm investing in a leash. Can't say I'm pleased about being cursed. But, being a vet turned into an animal? Well, I'm not gonna waste this opportunity. Excuse me. I've got some grass to eat. I would ask that you get all the horny jokes out of your system now. Mostly because I can't refuse a good pun. Go on. I'm not sheepish. I feel that I should tell you. Last night, I counted myself and fell straight to sleep. Quite handy, that. I bet there's a doctoral thesis in there somewhere. Um, I see the only RAM you're familiar with is in your computer. Even as a vet, I'm not 100% sure if wine is good for RAMs. But it sure makes my wool shiny. <laughs> shiny whiny. Uh-oh. Uh I may have had too much. I can't do my rounds like this. Do you think this curse-breaking business will take long? Well, I guess it's kind of a professional development experience. You're lucky I love being so close to these incredible creatures. My name's William, but everyone calls me Dr. Will. Except for the parrot in my office. She calls me Fresh Prince. If only I were a goat. Then I'd be a goat on a boat in a moat. But I just can't lie about that sort of thing. All in all, I'd give this experience so far a solid... Not bad. Wait a minute. Stethoscopes without earlobes are surprisingly difficult to use. And that was a surprisingly unusual sentence, when you think about it. Some jerk at the park told me to watch out for trolls under bridges. I was going to correct him, letting him know that he was thinking of goats, but I had butted him into the creek instead. Instincts sure are interesting, and so are restraining orders. I had a difficult client today. I really locked horns with them. I mentioned that I was vegan to a client. And they said, no duh. I've never been so tempted to eat a burger just to mess with someone. I can see that you're trying, and I appreciate it. How about a chance to make it up to me? I need a volunteer at the clinic for something I can't postpone. A client is bringing in a skunk. Really? Your dedication is impressive, and has my respect. Bring the clothespins and tomato juice. We're going in. I just wanted to tell you that, breaking the curse or not, you're good people. We should hang out more. As long as the whole Will is a sheep thing doesn't bother you. Just a heads up, I'm not the domestic variety of sheep. I very much have the most random urges to headbutt things. I would headbutt my mama right now. And she'd probably headbutt me back. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Good craftsmanship. I'll put it on my desk to enjoy it when I'm properly upright. And have hands. Don't mind me. I was just mugging for the camera. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Look at your stats. Now look at me. Back at your stats? Back to me. Sadly, those stats aren't quite enough for me. But if you keep up the hard work, they could be. I am a ram. Time to charge into the day. A pig came into the office today saying, Bah ram you! Bah ram you! So, I gave him a mild sedative and recommended bed rest. When I was initially transformed, I was pretty upset. I almost left the town. But I decided to face this challenge, rather than move in with my auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Is it weird that I think I make a handsome sheep? No, wait. No need to answer that. Now that I've said it out loud, I have my answer. When I was initially trans- I ate my ficus today. Not my proudest moment. But you know, it needs to be said. It was still noticeably better than kale. Someone threw paint on me today, saying that fur was murder. I informed them that I grew wool, and it was safe to remove. 
They were very apologetic. I think we all learned something today. Pleh. Spiders and ghosts and the smell of fake smoke? That's a bad list of ingredients for me. Hey, I have an idea. I hope this works. Otherwise, you might start looking at Rams differently. I had a feeling that would work. Can't wait to find out how to fix the rest. I'm honestly surprised there haven't been more Dr. Doolittle references. Are people just not into Dr. Doolittle anymore? Damn, I'm lamer than I realized. These horns weigh a ton. I could use a little TLC neck massage. <laughs> you know, from an amazingly attractive person with the strongest thumbs in the universe. Hint, hint. Now that I'm tall enough to look you in the eyes, I've just noticed how much they remind me of still waters, filled with autumn leaves, sparkling under a bright cold sky in October. So, that's nice. A small child saying Mary had a little lamb to me. For an hour. It was sweet. A certain truck company contacted me to model for a commercial. But when they saw I wasn't a ram anymore, they politely declined. Pfft. <laughs> Typecasting. My horns are ticklish? How is that even fair? Nice of you. Thanks. You have a sense of chivalry about you. I like that. Dinner was great. The company was better. You've turned out to be such a good friend, so let's not be awkward about it. I'm fond of you, and we should stay in touch. Does saying that make it awkward? You know what it's like after a cold, when you can finally breathe through your nose? That's how I feel right now, about standing upright. It's spectacular! Hmm, you know, even if we don't break the rest of the curse, I'm starting to get used to the horns. Watch me open a bottle cap. I'm a walking party trick. <laughs> I may have had a bit too much wine before we jumped on that boat. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. What do you, a Rolex watch, and an Armani suit have in common? I want all of them on my arm. <laughs> I love all of nature's creatures equally, except spiders. Wow, feels good getting that off my chest. This is better than a cougar's purr. And fun fact, cougars are the largest wildcat that still meows and purrs. So you just know that's special. Sorry for the blood pressure check. I like to know exactly how thrilling those rides are, and then document them. For science. When animals are scared at the office, I talk to them in soothing tones. I've noticed that it's most effective when I tell them about you. Animals pick up on our vibes. They know what's up. I may have gone a little overboard though, because there was this mouse winking at me and giving me finger guns all day. At this point, I've heard so many horny innuendos. I'm not offended by the sentiment, just the lack of originality. Did you know that a ram's horns weigh more than all the bones in their body? Well, except for one, in my case. I mean, of course, my funny bone. <laughs> Come here. I'm going to put my arms around you and improve your day. It's good for you. Doctor's orders. Stop by the office sometime. I'll put you into a room with 12 puppies. It'll restore your faith in the world. Come here. I'm going to put my arms around you and improve your day. It's good for you. Doctor's orders. Stop by the office some. Come here. I'm going to put... Stop by the office some... If nothing else, I hope one thing is clear. I adore you. Even more than the gesture, I appreciate that you're fluent in all of the love languages. A person of many expressions. Thank you. The attention to detail was kind of astounding. That skull could have sat in the university laboratory. Had a bad day today. Lost a couple furry friends. Mind just laying with me and being with me? I could use it. Thanks. You're good people. There's no one else I'd rather just be with right now.
Hey Bay, I was thinking about you today and hoping you were thinking of me too. Thought I might help that along with a selfie. I promise you the shirtless thing was a complete coincidence. See you soon. All my love. Did you mention one of your friends was a Pegasus? I have so many questions. Is he more like a bird, a horse, or closer to the Saturday morning cartoon camp? Even more than the gesture, I appreciate that you're fluent in all of the love languages. A person of many expressions. Thank you. Let us dance the night away before we slip off our masks and show each other our true selves. Was thinking about you today. Actually, all week? Okay, okay. There might have been more than one of you. And I was imagining I was the king and... <laughs> just joking. Thanks for everything, Bay. You're like the nitroglycerin of my heart. You just keep it beating every day for you. Did you mention one of your friends was a Pegasus? I have so many questions. Is he more like a bird? Thanks for the gift. As you can see, I'm not a big fan of flashy underwear. Why bother when you're not going to be wearing them for very long? They say the best vampires need to be pale and androgynous. Well, I beg to disagree. Now let me take a look at that throat. Say ah. You will never experience another hangnail or dry patch again. Thanks to my gentle, moisturizing paw massages. Uh, I mean hand massages. Okay, fine. Yes, I'm using paw balm on you. It's the best thing for dry skin. I feel like a giant plush toy. Do you think the puppies at work would feel more relaxed if I wore this in the exam room? Love, you go do what you need to do. And know that I love you. We're both cool cats and have souls to help. Mine just happened to be in the cutest little forms in the whole entire world. <laughs> I've got suntan lotion, a speedo, and two plane tickets to a very sunny beach. You in? You must be tired because you've been running through my mind all day. Except during surgery. It's usually better if I focus on what I'm doing during those times. Paging my lover to exam room two? Exam room two? A certain doctor's heart needs the biggest hug you can give. Thanks for a wonderful time. I'm going to take two aspirin and call you in the morning. I want to nibble on your neck, caress your curves, and kiss you completely. You're my boo. I had no idea what that word meant until I met you. Actually, I'm still not 100% on that, but I'm saying it anyway. My pet. I don't normally do the playing doctor trope, but in your case, I think I'll make an exception. You must have the soul of a vet, because you definitely know how to take care of a silly animal like me. I had a rough day at the office today, but knowing I had your love made it easier. You're with me always. Darling, I can show you the world, but I'd rather you show me yours. Hello! Still saving the world? Know that I'm always behind you, unless you want me in a different position. You deserve the world, Bay. I want to take you home. I want you to know how much I'm into you. I'm not ticklish. Don't. Even... <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, you win. Darling, this gift is exactly like the giver. Incredibly thoughtful, outrageously perfect, and far more than I deserve. I'll cherish it, and you, deeply. Thank you. Thanks. I've long run out of words that can describe how I feel about you. So, I I'm going to continue relying on showing you. I'm yours, now and always. The doctor will see you now, and later and every day, if he has anything to say about it. If you're gonna shower me in gifts, at least let me return the favor and run you a bath. <laughs> okay, okay, I give up, I give up, you win. <laughs> this time. <laughs> How do you know my secret spot? 
<laughs> okay, okay, I give up. I give up, you win. <laughs> this time. <laughs> no, 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 no. That doesn't count. That doesn't prove I'm ticklish, I just... I, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Nature documentaries and chill? Sorry. I've got some unusual inclinations lately. Is it weird that I miss running on all fours? Morning jogs just don't feel the same. I've poured the wine, and dinner is simmering. Tell me about your day. <laughs>